Hi everyone, I'm Terry and welcome back to the 5 Minute Author Coach. Today we're going to talk about something that is both profitable and something you should be doing, and that's anthologies. Now, anthologies can range anywhere from 5 stories to 25 stories to even in some of the really immense ones you might even have 100 stories. Um, I'm talking about short fiction and I'm talking about a variety of fiction across all the genres. Um, in particular, though, science fiction, fantasy, horror, these are some of the genres that tend to really produce a lot of fantastic short fiction. Um, some things to consider about this. Um, short stories are profitable. Short stories can yield you income as an author for quite some time. Uh, they may earn out over the span of months or a year or even years if you really hit it in an excellent, excellent vein. But one of the things to consider before you even start submitting to anthologies is this. Treat your short stories with a couple of concepts that are going to help make you a better writer. Number one, writing short fiction makes you better. That's a simple fact. Um, it stretches you. It creates um, a different narrative. It creates a compressed narrative. It teaches you how to develop a scene in a hurry. It teaches you how to capture, uh, to really write the hook and to really capture the reader in the first page, uh, let alone the first sentence. Uh, it teaches you how to not get too long-winded and wrap things up. It teaches you um, how to write characters that are vibrant to the point that they might not fit anywhere else. So as a tool, writing short fiction is just fantastic. All right. So we've established that it makes you a better writer, and, and uh, it makes you a better writer almost from the outset. Um, a thing, the second thing to consider about this is when you're going to submit to different anthologies, uh, think of it in terms of real estate. This is the second point I'd like to make about this. Um, when you go to buy a house and you want to make an investment in a house, you usually try to get the best, cheapest house on the nicest block because you can always do things to the house and the house is going to go up in value. Think of yourself as a new writer in the same way. You're an undeveloped property. Okay, you have potential. You don't have experience yet. What do you need to do to gain exposure while being paid and to get better? All of those components that are going to turn you into a professional author. One of the things that you can do is look around for people that you know or relationships you have developed who are putting together anthologies that are at the absolute cusp of your ability. Because here's what can happen. One, they say, yes, we'd love to have your story. Maybe it gets edited. Two, they say, no not at this time. They thank you. And if you're professional with them, they remember and they're going to establish a relationship with you and you can revisit this down the line. Um, let me give you an example of how disparate stories can have a similar thread. I I'm going to talk about some topics. You tell me what you see in common between these. A kangaroo, a short story about a kangaroo who's an auto mechanic, who's plucky and uh, sassy and goes up against the mob in a 1930s noir setting, a pope who gets struck down with vampire vampirism, <laughs> a ghoul that feeds along a roadside cross in central Illinois in the United States, um, a, me a mechanical military sci-fi setting with mercenaries dealing with a stolen radioactive element. Now, if, if there aren't a lot of similarities except for me. Those are all stories that I wrote, stories that are earning money right now, stories that are all across the broad spectrum of genres, and yet I was able to produce them because I want to write a lot, and I have a lot of ideas, and I'm sure you do too. I mean, writers were filled with ideas. Um, so we're going to assemble these ideas into short stories uh, that might be quite different from one another. You don't limit yourself necessarily. I believe strongly in protecting your brand, but I also believe very strongly in getting paid for your work and finding any venue necessary to go ahead and do it. A good anthology with great writers in it, um, where you look at it and the print and you say, Terry Magger, what's that name doing on the front? That's the sensation I had on the first two or three 
that I was in and I thought, okay, I have clearly made a good decision. This was a good decision to get into this. So anthologies are a way for you to get your name out there. They're a way to get better. They're a way to get paid. And the best part of it is you can do them all simultaneously while honing your craft. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'm the 5-Minute Author Coach, and I'm an author, and I'll see you here next time. Thanks.